Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and in today's video we're just going to do a chatty dip with me style and I'm going to share this new duo that was recently released by West Coast Dips. So she released a few new duos and they're all solids pairing with beautiful floral dips. And these blues were just so beautiful. But of course, you know me, I had to throw in some sparkle. So I threw in a glitter and I just love the way these pair together. All of the duos are so beautiful, but I am a sucker for floral dips and these are no exception. They were so easy to work with and just so pretty. The two colors that I'm going to be using in today's video from the duo are Love Story and Our Song. So I'm not going to lie, I actually had to have someone tell me that these colors were named after Taylor Swift songs. So all of the duos that were released as part of this one were all named after Taylor Swift songs. So I had no idea because I'm not really a huge fan. I don't mind her, I'm just not a huge fan of her. So I didn't really know like they were all named after her songs. But, you know, kind of fun fact about these duos. So these flower dips are just so gorgeous. I love all flower dips. So all of the duos were a pairing of solids. Even though the solids have like a very slight shimmer to them, they're basically, they look like solids when you top coat them. So I'm calling them solids. And then I am pulling in an older glitter. So this one is Pop Rocks. And I just thought the light blue of the glitter just paired really well with this duo. And of course, I'll be using my West Coast Dips dip liquids for this mani as well. I am an ambassador for West Coast Dips, so if you want to do a little shopping, you can use my ambassador code Genie10 to save 10% off your orders. So let's get into this mani. So I'm going to be starting with our song, which is a solid blue. Now in the jar, it does have like a slight shimmer to it, but you actually don't see it on the nail. So I'm not sure whether that has something to do with like the shimmers or the acrylics, not the shimmers, the pigments or the acrylics. I don't really know enough about making dip powders, but all that to say, it is a solid color. So that's what I'm going to be starting with. And this is going to go both on my index finger and pinky i have to remember back because this was quite a few manis ago and i'm just now getting to the voiceover so you'll notice with our song it is a little bit of a sheer color on the first dip so i like this because you can build it up so it gets more opaque on the second layer if i want it even more opaque i can do a third layer so you can kind of build up the coverage depending on how you want it to look but it's a very beautiful color and I love the way it's going to pair with our story. No, love story. See, I don't know my Taylor Swift songs. So just wait till you see them paired. So I don't know about you, but whenever I'm dipping, I always like to do like a standard routine of I'll always follow the same process. So I don't, is it weird? I'm not sure. So I always like to start with my index and then go to my thumb last. For some, some reason, I don't like starting with my thumb. So I'll go index to pinky and then I will go back to my thumb. So that's kind of the order of the fingers I'll do as well as... For colors, I always do one color at a time so I don't dip the wrong finger in the wrong color. And I always start lightest to darkest, solids, shimmers, glitters, foils. So there's kind of like a method to my madness so I don't mix things up. And plus, I don't want to contaminate my solids with any of the glitters or foils or anything like that. So that's kind of why I'm starting with our song first is because that's my solid. Love Story is a solid base, but it does have the floral pieces as well as some foils in there. So it would, it still kind of works as a solid because there aren't any glitters in there, but it does have pieces of something in it. So that's why I'm starting with our song first. I don't know, is anyone else like that? Or does that make me just sound like crazy? Do you just kind of dip like whatever your mood is, whatever you feel like grabbing, all colors at one time? Or do you kind of, are you very methodical about your dipping process? For me, I feel like it's very rare that I, I have done it before, but it's very rare that I start a mani without having a plan. So I like to look at the colors, look at my swatch sticks, look at the jars and kind of plan out which colors I want on which finger. So being methodical about my actual dipping process helps me kind of remember what my plan is. So I feel like if I started with a plan and I don't think about like what I'm doing, if I don't do anything, do things in a certain order, I forget about what my plan was. And so then it comes out completely different, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've had happy accidents when I'm doing my Manny, but that's kind of like where my brain goes because, you know, I am, 
you know, I am a program manager, I've been a project manager, I've been an analyst. So that's kind of like I'm very analytical and I like process and I like plans. But anyway, that was me totally rambling. So let's get back to what I'm actually doing on my nails. So I'm working on finishing up my second layer. So that's my normal process of dipping is I do two layers of color and then I cap in clear. So I'm working on doing my second layer for my pinky. So I'm applying a full layer of dip base. I'm dipping into my color and then I'm gonna clean up my cuticle area with my precision tool because if I get any excess product on my skin, I wanna make sure that I'm cleaning that up before it dries because excess product on your skin can cause lifting and I don't want that to happen. I don't think I capped it in clear at this point because Love Story is sort of a solid anyway. I mean, even though it does have pieces in it, like the floral pieces and the foils aren't really going to stick to my solid nail. So I don't really have to worry about contamination. So I think I waited until I was done with using Love Story before I capped everything in clear and I just treated it like a solid. So whenever I'm working with flower dips, I always know that at the end of my dips, I'm going to go ahead and hand place to get the flowers to stick. I find that the flowers are heavier in dip powders, so they're kind of harder to catch. So I do, I'm going to dip in my first layer. For my second layer, I will lay flat in, but I don't pick up as many flowers as I want my look to be. So I do end up hand placing. So that's kind of my recommendation whenever you're working with flower dips, is just expect to hand place the flowers. I mean, it is a little bit of extra work, but it's super easy, and that way you can kind of customize your look, so it kind of makes it fun as well. I'm going to lay in for my second layer so I'm going to go ahead and pour my jar into my dipped in chaos and you just pretend you didn't see me drop it but I absolutely loved my dipped in chaos so this is 3d printed from chaos concepts I literally no longer use cupcake liners at all because I replaced them all with the dipped in chaos because I love that it's reusable and I'm not creating waste I always hate throwing away cupcake liners because it just is wasteful and it's not good for the environment. So the thing I love about the Dipped in Chaos is it's flexible so I can kind of work with it as I need to. And then when I'm done with it, I can just dust it out with a dust brush. None of the powder sticks to it. And I should wash them out more often than I do, but I have so many that I probably wash them out with warm soap and water maybe every four to six months. But really just a quick swipe with a dust brush ongoing is fine. It's just really once they start getting like soup, when I work with like darker colors, that's maybe when like I need to kind of wash it out a little bit more. But other than that, I absolutely love these things and I highly recommend them. I'll leave the link below down in the description if you're interested in something like the Dipped in Chaos, plus all the other amazing 3D printed things that Chaos Concepts have.
I went ahead and pre-picked out some flower pieces and some foils and put them in the lid of the jar just because when your dip base is on you want to move a little bit quicker because you want to place your pieces while your dip base is still wet. So I applied an even layer of dip base to my entire nail. If there's only like certain spots where you know you want to place something you don't have to put your dip base on your entire nail you can just put it on those certain spots. But I knew, especially for like my middle finger, that it was more bare than I wanted. So I applied the dip base to my entire nail. I'm dipping my precision tool into that wet dip base. And then I'm picking up the pieces of foils, of flowers, whatever it may be. And kind of strategically placing them where I feel like I want a little bit more color. Where I think a foil might look better as opposed to a piece of flower. So I'm just kind of placing them. And I may go a little bit overboard. I can never help myself because I always feel like I want a little bit more just because... I love the flowers so much and I love the floral dips that Jolene, she is the owner of West Coast Dips. I love the floral dips she, she makes. She uses these really cute small flowers which are really dainty but I know she hates making them because she kind of has to like pick out the little flowers in order to put in the dip powders. So we always bug her about making more, but I know she doesn't enjoy them. But as a consumer, I certainly do love her floral dip powders. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend them. They are just so gorgeous and easy to work with. And I'm actually showing you this placement real time because I want you to see that with the West Coast Dips dip base, I have plenty of time to place what I need without having to rush or apply more dip base to finish it. I just realized I didn't get a recording of using Pop Rocks, which is my glitter, which makes me super sad because I wish you could have seen it in action. So apologies for that. But in any case, I went ahead and capped everything in clear, activated, filed and buffed off camera. So now I'm ready to get into my dip top coat. So in order for a dip top coat to dry, you need a layer of activator. So I'm applying one final layer of activator to all my nails. I'm gonna wait a full two minutes for my activator to dry because any activator, excess activator that touches your dip top coat could harden your brush and contaminate your top coat. So you don't want that to happen. So you wanna make sure you're waiting before you go in with your dip top coat. So I waited my full two minutes. And so for my first layer, I'm applying my top coat two to three really quick swipes on each nail. Before I return my brush to the bottle, I'm wiping off on a lint-free wipe just to remove any excess activator. And then I'm gonna do this for all five nails. Once I'm done with my fifth nail, my first layer is dry, and then I can go in with my second layer of dip top coat. So dip top coat, in order to be super shiny, you need two full layers. 
So for this one, I'm taking my time. I'm making sure I've got everything covered. I'm making sure to cap my free edge. And then it'll, in about like two, three minutes, really quick, it'll dry. As always, I'm going to finish off my mani by rehydrating my cuticle. So I'm using scales of a mermaid cuticle oil in the scent Wildflower. And this scent has been my obsession lately. I absolutely love it and I hope I never run out of it. I swear my skin has never been better ever since I started using scales of a mermaid products. I absolutely love them and they are my favorite. So here we are with the finished look. What do you think? I absolutely love this Manny. You know I'm a purple person, but I love the blues in this Manny. I actually did this Manny for when I was in the office. So I spent a full week in the office and whenever I have a full week in the office, I don't use peel base because I don't want my coworkers finding random nails throughout the office. I don't want to freak them out. And I am so glad this was one of the Mannies that I did without peel base because I loved it so much. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others, which helps grow my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.